I just got back from a really shitty run. But that's not the worst thing. About a week or two ago, I took some really shitty pictures. Sometimes, you just take shit photos. In my attempt to be completely transparent with you guys, I wanted to show you that even sometimes, it's not always rainbows and roses, even we take shit photos. We're gonna kind of deep dive into those photos and I'll kind of pick out what I think went wrong with them. If you don't feel like watching the whole video, really is because I was lazy and I didn't get up and move to different locations, but uh, I'm gonna take you guys through a few of those. Yeah, just show you what a shitty photo shoot looks like. All right, Carlos? Also, two things that uh, you may have noticed that are different. One, I got the Rode Wireless Mic Go. I think that's what it's called, two or something like that. So trying that out today, so let me know how the audio sounds. Two, I don't have a mustache anymore. As soon as I shaved it, I immediately regretted it. So that will be growing back very soon. Oh, and then bonus, bonus info. Uh, something really terrible happened with one of my external hard drives the other day. All right. Edit these new pictures. Out of space. That can't be right. What? No. No. Damn it, dude. I ran out of space on my external hard drive. So I got some new flags. Pretty awesome. So I'll hang these up somewhere in the studio. Maybe I'll take the rackets down and put the flags there, I think, because I'm starting to run out of space. These are all like super old. Some of them have seen better days. And then we'll put the American flag over here. So yeah, this will be behind me now when I do uh, talking videos. Maybe I'll mix it up a little bit more. I don't know, but for now, that's okay with me. Let's get into the terrible photos that I shot the other day. Bad photos just happened. And uh, the other day, uh, Oh man, I just took some really bad ones. Here we have our first 
photo. Now this one isn't terrible. So I was at an angle and I wanted to get a shot of the two players as they were sitting down waiting. This kind of backfired because number one, if you look to the subject on the left, she's not in a great position. She's kind of looking down and it just doesn't look great. And then if you look to number two, <laughs> you can tell this lady is giving me the what the hell are you doing eyes. It has nothing to do with the two athletes. They were, they were awesome. The composition isn't bad. Just the way the subjects were posed. I did not catch them in a good or great shot or action or movement. And so this just comes out looking awkward. It's not a terrible composition with the umpire's chair in the middle, the two players on the side at an angle, but just the action of the of the subjects is what makes this one funny. I'm pretty sure the girl in the gray looking at me was going to come into the stands and stab me. She was not very nice. Let's go to the next one here. With sport shots, you want to go with a higher shutter speed because you don't want too much blur, unless that's what you're going for. But I was trying to minimize the blur, and so immediately you can already tell the racket's blurred out on this one. So there's some blur there. It's a little distracting. The ball is also a little blurry. I could crop this and get her centered if I really wanted to go in and do that, but the composition of this one is just not great. Just the way the backdrop is with the SMU logo, I would have to do some cropping and I could probably make this one serviceable. It just wasn't that great. I don't love it. It's not the worst, but it's not amazing. Same thing with this next one, forehand. It's a cool action shot, but just the background is distracting. I could probably crop this one down and it would be okay. This next one right here. Now this would have been a cool shot if I would have gotten up off my butt and moved to the center of the court and centered it up. Without it centered, it just looks off. It looks off kilter, off center. It, it bothers me. You know, I caught her in a cool action pose, an action shot, but I just wish I would have moved my butt over and gotten this one straight on. Again, I could probably crop it down to a usable photo. Ugh, it's just not great. Now this one actually came out decent. Her action pose or her action is not the, the coolest for tennis, but uh, it, it really came out to what I was hoping to do with some of the other shots is have her centered up with that SMU logo and it looks kind of cool. So this one is actually probably one of the better ones of the bunch that I took. Same thing here, I could probably crop it and it would be okay. These just all kind of came out with the same look and I don't like really hardly any of them. And it just was not my best work. And after I shot the photos, I just kind of looked at it and went, what the hell even is this? Like, this is what I get for being lazy. So I guess the teachable moment here is when you're shooting photos, you can't just stand in one spot and hope to get it. You need to think about everything. And I got lazy on these. I didn't really think about the composition, the angles. I just kind of sat in the stands and just snapped them as she was playing. They just came out poorly. And so I also think that something this can kind of show is that, you know, there's way more to photography than just good gear. I mean, because the gear I used was great. I used my Sony a7 III with the Sony 70-200. to Some really top of the line gear and my photos came out blech. The gear does not make the photographer. The photographer makes the gear. That's super cliche, but it's so true. So things I can do better for next time is I'm definitely going to get my butt up, move around, not be lazy, Really try to get some unique angles and views of the court and the players. I'm still a little new with all the with the sport photography. I've mainly done street and portrait. I hope you can learn from me in this video that you gotta move. It's all about the angles and the perspective. You can't just sit in the stands and snap shots and hope they come out great. I took some shitty pictures. Learn from me. Okay, the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do the wife test. So see, come see the new man cave. I redid it. No! Why did you take it off? Damn! Not here. We tried. We tried, boys.